back again healthy living with Ms. Renee the barber now in today's video we will be making a tuna melt with garlic oil let's get into the recipe Since we are making tuna salad, we need to chop the onion as fine as possible. And so this is a method that you can use to achieve a very fine piece of onion. So we're gonna bring it in and we're gonna swing our knife around. We're gonna pivot, almost like a pivot. So you're gonna hold the tip of the knife with one hand and with the other hand, you're gonna go up and down like a seesaw. And then you will pivot the knife. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so let's try that. We're gonna hold it at the tip and we're gonna go up and down and we're pivoting back and forth. This is one technique, one method. Bring it in. And continue chopping it to your desired. Because what? Because we're making tuna salad. We're not making celery salad. We're gonna bring it in and then we're gonna chop it. Bring it in and chop it. Bring it in and chop. It. Bring it in and chop it. All right, so these are hamburger pickle slices. So we're gonna use the same technique as we did with our onions. We're gonna pour them on our cutting surface. Now, if you don't like the hamburger uh, pickles, then try sweet relish. So our tuna has been drained. We're using 12 ounces of tuna. Our tuna has been drained. We're gonna put um, our onion in, which is just about a fourth of a cup of onion. Our hamburger pickles. Just about a fourth a cup of hamburger pickles. Our celery. Just a fourth cup of celery. That's actually one rib of celery. We're gonna sprinkle some salt, just like about a fourth of a teaspoon. And some pepper, pepper and salt to taste. We're gonna use our lemon, squirt some lemon in there. And mix it all together. Now to this, we will add our mayonnaise, which is about three tablespoons. Add as much mayonnaise to your liking. All 
All right, great. Now, time to assemble. Shall we begin? All right, so let's start with our bread. This is some sourdough bread. We are going to drizzle a little garlic oil on the bread. Brush that on. We've got our heat. We've got our pan warm. We're gonna put this on the pan. All right, so we've got our oil side of the bread. And this is the non-oil side. So we're gonna put the oil side down on the pan. Non-oil side face up. We're gonna add our cheese. We're gonna start with our cheddar cheese. Lay that down. We're gonna put our tuna on. Spread it out. Mmm, doesn't that look nice? Quick and easy! I mean, this is great for dinner. It's also great for a lunchtime. Ladies, if you guys are having a she shed party this summer, hey, why not make tuna melts on the grill? I put the oil side down first, right on the skillet. The griddle, this is a stovetop griddle, cast iron, and I'll put the cheddar cheese, then the tuna. We'll add our, this is habanero cheese, habanero jack cheese. Now, while we're waiting for our side to brown, we're gonna put, this is actually garlic oil, as I explained earlier, so we're gonna brush that on. We're gonna drizzle a little. Instead of using garlic oil, you can use butter. I've got my heat on medium heat. This bread is about a half an inch thick. And I'm gonna turn now and get those gorgeous grill marks. Squeeze it a little bit. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. I'm gonna move that piece of bread over. It's sliding a little bit. You see that cheese is melting. Oh yeah. All right, let's transfer the sandwich to our plate. How about that? I'm going to try to flip it. Let's see. Yes, baby. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes, that's Miss Renee the Barber. <laughs> Well, we've plated our food. Can you guys see that? Delicious, huh? Oh yeah. Thankful and delicious. All 
All right. Thank you for this food that we are about to receive. Amen? Amen. All right, I'm gonna try an avocado first. Mmm, hmm. Mmm, avocado is just ripe enough. All right, enough for the tea. Let's just go straight into the sandwich. The tuna melt. Mmm. Perfect. Perfect. Mmm. My favorite part, the grill marks. <laughs> and I taste the lemon, which is refreshing. And the habanero cheese gives it a little kick, but it's not as very subtle. Very subtle. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look at that cheese. You see the cheese? <laughs> see that cheese? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. You know. It was so quick and easy to make and yet so delicious and I have enough left over for tomorrow's lunch the sourdough <clears throat> adds to the flavor enhancing ingredients mmm Well, I don't know. Maybe you see all bread there. Mmm. 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 Awesome. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I am so sorry for laughing, but it is so good. Okay. So. All right. I want to thank you for stopping by and spending some time with me. I'm going to close out now. Until the next video. Here's the healthy living. Thank you.